Hi guys, Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn and today we're going to be crocheting the simple baby mitts. This is the newborn size so these are really small and a super quick project. So I'm going to show you how to make these. It's all in half double crochet and they said work up super fast. So a great little gift for a mom to be at a shower and you can make you know with one skein you can make plenty of these. They take you know next to no yarn. So I'm going to show you how to make these. We're going to walk through it together. Ready? Let's get started. Materials we need for this project include one skein of Lion Brands LB Collection Mako Cotton. I'm using the light gray, a size G hook. So I know sometimes G can have different sizes. This is a four millimeter G. And I also have an H for my larger hook here, which is five millimeters. You also need a yarn needle to weave in those ends and close the top of the mitt and some scissors. Okay, we're going to start at the ribbing and we're going to work this in half double crochet. So we're going to sing a uh, chain eight. Okay, I have eight here. We will not count the chain we're going to skip these first two. We're not going to count those as a stitch. I know sometimes people count the chain two as a stitch on half double crochet. I find for me that my edges look much more even if I do not do this. So skip these first two chains. I always work into the back of my chain. I don't know. It's just a habit I have developed. And you're going to half double crochet. So you'll yarn over first, insert, your chain. If you've never done a half double crochet, you'll yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and draw through all three. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert in this little back bump under here if you're working in the back. Yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through all three. So we're just going to work this way all the way down no matter which size you're doing. Now I will be making the newborn and it's not cooperating with me right now. That happens sometimes, especially on camera. So it, we're going to be making the newborn size together, but it's very similar if you're doing the other sizes. Just look at the written pattern. There's a link below, and it'll tell you the modifications to make for each size. It's usually newborns that need these the most. I know. My first child didn't need any. I remember thinking those things are kind of silly. And then my second son was born and he scratched himself a lot. So I saw very quickly how useful these little mitts can be. So now we have turned and we're going to chain two. So you will not count this as a stitch. And you'll, you're going to work in just the back loop. As you can see, each stitch is a V. I mean, look at the top. Now, half double crochet also has this other loop back here. Don't get mistaken that for this being the V. You want to look right down at the top and you can see the V's. And we, usually you work right here under both loops. But what we're going to do is we're going to work just in the back loop. So split the stitch right down the middle in just the back loop. Yarn over and draw the loop and complete a regular half double crochet. There we go. So we're going to work six stitches across. It's always six for this. And then we will turn and repeat this row. This is the row that you're going to repeat for the rest of the ribbon. So you will need to work until it is as long as the written pattern says. If you're doing the newborn size like I am, we're just going to work for three inches. So it's really small because these little guys have teeny tiny little arms and hands. And the good thing is it will not take long at all to knock out a newborn mitt. So there we go with our six stitches and we'll turn. And again, you'll work in that back loop and keep going until you have worked three inches or until it's as long as if you're doing other sizes, check out the written pattern and you want to end with the wrong side row. And what that means is 
you will have this up here and the tail will be on the opposite side. So that way when we work across the side of it, we'll start working across here, the tail will be hanging out the bottom. And leave enough of a tail so that you can sew up the little ribbing seam. So go ahead and work until it's three inches or longer, depending upon your size. And we'll come back and start the next part. When you've reached the right number of inches, which you can see this is only three inches, it's really small there, you're going to close here and join with a slip stitch. So you just bring it together and insert your hook. Yarn over and pull it through both loops. And this is going to close our little mitt. I'm going to leave my seam open for now. You're definitely welcome to go ahead and seam it up. And I'm going to switch to my larger hook. So we're using our H hook now, five millimeter, maybe. There we go. All right, we're going to half double crochet. So go ahead and chain two. And we're going to work 12 stitches around for the newborn size. Now it depends that again, what you are, what size you're making, but typically the reason I like half double crochet rib like this instead of single is that you have almost as many rows of the rib as you have stitches going into it. Usually always when I've done things, as opposed to the single crochet where you end up with a whole lot more of these little rows to work into, then you have um, stitches to work across. So you have to figure out like how many you know, do I work in how many rows. So right now I have 10 rows of ribbing and I need to work 12 stitches. So it'll be really easy to sneak in a couple extra ones and we'll get our, so you're gonna work into the side. So we'll start right here in the same place we joined. We're gonna half double, it's entirely half double crochet in this project. And then you can see, I typically will skip this part right here and work into this thicker area. But because I know I have to add a couple stitches, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it here. And when I get to this other fold area around here, and then now I'll just work into the sides of my rows. So I'll work right here. And I try not to go too far down, like where that hole is. So sometimes I'll actually just split the stitch because I don't want, you know, to have my stitch way down there. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. I'm gonna skip this one here. Five. Actually, I don't like the placement of that one. Just like I said, I put it going really far down. Let's see if I can get it back out here now. I don't like the way that one looks. So when I'm saying when you're going too far down underneath this entire thing right here, it's going to look awkward. So it is okay to work into the body of the stitch line is not cooperating with me on camera. I already made my other little mitt and it worked out fine. So, oh, I didn't, I didn't yarn over. You gotta love it. So you're just going to work 12 stitches or larger, if you're making a larger size, all the way around. And then we're going to join it with a slip stitch to our little chain two. So go ahead and work that around, working in if you need to into this little space here but just get it evenly spaced out. Okay, we've made our way all the way around. I have 12 stitches here and it's kind of hard to work into the chain here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slip stitch into my first half double crochet. And there we go, I have closed it up. So you're gonna work several rounds even. If you're making the newborn size, we're working rounds two through six and you'll do more, of course, make a larger size. So check the pattern. And you make sure that at the beginning of each one that you work into the same one you joined in or you'll lose that one. So just work a half double crochet in every stitch and you should always end up with the same number. We're not counting our chain two. And then you get to that end and we'll start shaping the top and we will be done. So. If you're working the newborn size, work rounds two through six, even in half double crochet, joining with a slip stitch at the end of each round. 
All right, we're two rounds away from being done. We just need to shape the top a little bit so that it has a little more of a curve to it. So we're gonna do that right now. And you will chain two again. Now we're gonna work a half double crochet two together. So go ahead and yarn over, insert in that same stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over again, Insert to the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. So now we have five loops in our hook. We're going to yarn over and draw through all of them. And now we'll have double crochet four. Or if you're making a larger size, check the pattern for the number. We're going to go over across to the other side. And now we'll be on the opposite side. And we're gonna do a half double crochet two again. So work in the next two stitches. There we go. And then half double crochet around our last four stitches for this size. And then we'll join. Go one more. So we'll join here with a slip stitch to our very first. And then the next round, you're going to repeat the same thing, only you're just going to half double crochet two together and then work one fewer stitch across. So in this case, it's three. Half double crochet together and then three more to close off the top. Okay, now for my last round there to close at the top and you still have an opening but it's go ahead and fasten off leaving a decent tail you can see i just have a few stitches here and i pull it through you'll just get a yarn needle and you'll just weave it back and forth you can see how these stitches kind of meet up these three we worked even just kind of work the needle back and forth in here and then take your yarn tail and seam up this seam and it will be done. You'll have a nice little mitt right here. Got a nice little newborn mitt ready to cover up those precious baby fingers. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Come visit us at lovelifeyarn.com for more than 140 free patterns, lots of which are for baby things, baby blankets and booties and all kinds of cute baby things. And hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Um.